everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Rising High. So a Netflix film. So we're all stuck on, so you might be considering watching this one. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but it's about real estate agents and how they rose to the top and got wealthy rather quickly, but then um, greed, um, lies, and drugs take the better of them. I don't know. Hour and 34 minutes long. I believe it's in a different language, but it's dubbed. I don't recognize anybody in it. Because, you know, Netflix shows you the uh, previews. That's what I think. But I'll get into it, watch a little bit of it, let you know what it's really about, and then ultimately what I think. IMDb has it rated at 5.7. About 1,700 people have viewed it so far. So, not great, but you never know. Maybe the wrong 1,700 people have viewed it, and we'll see. So, I'll get into it. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Rising High. We're at the 52 minute, 33 second mark. Um, over halfway, there's only 42 minutes left. Um, but so, a lot of time. Um, so, I don't see the three real estate agents. Oh, I get it now. Never mind. So, uh, there's this uh, one entrepreneurial fella who moves to town, uh, which is a couple of dollars, sleeping on the streets kind of thing. Um, but he's got, you know, he's got good convincing look to him. Um, and basically starts scamming and that's how they get into real estate so they scam their way to buy a building very cheap um, and then sell it very overpriced very overpriced now they do it by convincing oh so he does it he meets another fellow on his first couple of days in the city or wherever they're at um, who can buy stuff very cheap and he says you could sell it that's in the previews um, but they needed a bank, and that's where the third person comes in. It's a girl. Um, she basically guarantees the loans to the people who want to buy the apartment buildings that they bought. So that were the apartments in the apartment building that they bought, and that's how it all starts. Um, basically, they, like I said, they bought a, an apartment building very cheap, made it look real nice, and convinced her to get in on it so that she would guarantee the loans. Sold it to a bunch of people, well overpriced, and made a ton of money and now continuing to do different things like that. So it's not like they're actual uh, real estate. I assume that they were like really real estate people, like you see every day, trying to earn an honest living and just made a lot of money and then get into fraud. It all starts on, you know, fraudulent terms. So it's also a German-based movie, but with subtitles, not with subtitles, with uh, dubbing over it, so it makes it pretty easy. Um, that's it. That, that's really what it's all about. They're at the height of their riches and it also um, shows him in the beginning which I had assumed they showed like the end first I think um, and uh, the first scene is police crashing into his house kind of thing but now he seems to be talking to what I thought she said was a journalist not like a detective maybe I missed that but it, that's what it, it's all from his perspective telling a story to somebody who's filming and asking him different questions. Um, so I originally assumed that it was he was under arrest and being interrogated and he's just willfully giving all the information and it's all flashbacks. But then in the last scene he said she was a journalist so I'm not sure. But that's how the movie's being laid out through his storytelling and flashbacks and something happened. So. I'm sure I'll tell you at the end. Uh, it's not a spoiler because it's all in the beginning and it's happening right now. So we'll see where it goes from here. Uh, kind of interesting though. Uh, I like it and uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll be back in a little bit. Hey everybody. We're at the credits of Rising High. And <clears throat> it was quite good. I mean, I'm going to probably say start off with a six. I think it was, it was that good. The... Uh, as I'm looking at the credits and I see the his partner in crime, so our main actor, uh, Victor, um, and main character, Victor, and his partner that he meets, the guy who can get stuff at real cheap cost, kept reminding me of Breck and Meyer. So I thought that was pretty neat. When you watch it, maybe you'll see that too. Um, so as I, you know, as, as it says, you know, they go very high in this real estate scam thing. And of course, things start to crash and it's it's amazing like you get all of these breaks and you have everything going it's like you don't know when to quit you know and and you know money more money more problems as they say so that's what happens here and 
you know, things start to go downhill. And to clarify, it is a journalist speaking to him, um, trying to tell a story. I was wondering why he was so forthcoming with it, but you'll see what's going on. And the police do crash his house at one point, so it's all there, which makes more sense to me. It was just a little confusing because I thought she was an interrogator. And it's not a spoiler alert, it's not a surprise that she was a journalist. I just thought I misheard it, but she was a journalist trying to hear his story. Um, and that's where it's all told from here. So, um, very, I, I liked what they did. I liked what they, I'm, I'm interested, I liked what they did in the ending. Um, and I thought they, it could have went a couple of different ways. Um, the fun, after, you know, after he gets a note from Jerry... That kind of thing. From there on, that's where I thought, well, I'm surprised he didn't do something different, but whatever. That's the that's our victor, if you will. So, I I like it. It's a German film, and first one I think I've seen. I don't know. Um, you know what I didn't have to read, that's for sure. Um, but it's definitely entertaining. I'm a little disappointed that it was a scam the whole time. I thought these people. You know, as I said, made made money on their own real estate, but still fun to watch as we run out of stuff to watch here. If you're looking for something that is, you know, the uh, boiling, what was it, Boiler Room type film, if you will. That's what I'd liken this to, the German version of Boiler Room, but instead of stocks and, and Wall Street, it's real estate um, and apartment buildings. So I got for you with people that you probably don't know. Um... And it's about a six. Boiler Room was much higher, but that was a great movie. Anyway, so there you have it. That's what I got for you. Uh, I think that's the best way to sum summarize it up, and I'm not going to step on that anymore. Boiler Room, the German version of Boiler Room for real estate. All right. <laughs> if you do um, if you do check it out, um, let me know. Drop some comments in. Love to hear from you. If you haven't already, please go ahead and click on this button and subscribe. And if you like these reviews, go ahead and click on this button, and this will be for uh, my playlist of other reviews. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.